Also, um, one more I wanted to get into and talk about before we break, and that is Manaski. Um, uh, last week, uh, you had uh, something happen that okay. yeah. is I've never had anyone, I've never known anyone that it actually happened to. But it happened to you. I'll try to give you the condensed version. So I went to, I wasn't feeling good one day last week. I went to this, uh, I went someplace to, to buy soup. And uh, I got a big container of soup. In fact, I got two of them. So it was like, I don't know, it was, it was, it was more than like 3 or $4. So I tried paying with a 50. And as is often the case, the clerk marked it. And then I'm standing there not paying attention. I just got this money out of an ATM the day before. The clerk marks it again and then looks at me like, you know, trying to make sure, I guess, if there's a if she has to do a sketch, she can remember something about me. She goes, hold on, sir. She goes in the back and gets a manager and they come out and they're like, we think this is a fake fifty dollar bill. We're supposed to call the police. And I'm like, are you kidding me? I said, I swear I got it out of an ATM and I swear I got it out of an ATM. You're not printing them at home. No, I'm not. Okay, just um, however, as I found out soon after when they let me go and I did finally get my soup, I went to the bank and told them my story. I got this out of an ATM. I swear I did. Um, but I tried to use this. They marked it three or four times. They're telling me it's fake. Can you tell me if that's a fake 50? And I'm, I'm at my they bank. Let you keep the, they let you keep the 50? Be- because I told them my story then I, and I swore up and down <laughs> I got yeah. it out of an ATM. And, yeah. and she said... You ought to take that back. You, I mean, yeah. go back. And and I've go, I go there semi frequently. They know who I am. I mean, yeah. I was wearing my IBX hat too. They know who I am. Yeah. So th- they didn't think I was trying to. Don't con you them. know who I am? I, <laughs> I I'm not above using that line. I found yeah. out last week. Well, if it means whether or not you're gonna get arrested. <laughs> I didn't, but I was close to it. Yeah. Um. So I go to the bank and I told them the story and uh, I said, "Can you tell me if that's a real 50? And uh, the woman said, hold on. And she goes in the back. This is the part that threw me. She comes back and she goes, I don't know. I said, what do you mean you don't know? How, how can you not know? The, the, they marked it. They said it's fake. I got it out of your t- ATM. So she holds it up and she goes, I don't, is it the strip? Yeah. Whatever they call yeah, it. There's she also goes, you can see in the, the image of the president. She goes, I, I can see the strip in here. I think, I think it's a real 50. But it's been, it, it's marking as a fake fifty. Hmm. So I had to go. Hmm. I had to go have a conversation with like. Did they give you? Did they replace the fifty? They did not. Did they give you back the fifty? They did not. They have to send it into Homeland Security for really? further testing. And if it, they if said it, it'll take three weeks. About if it's real, I'll get a new fifty, a different fifty. If not, I'm out fifty dollars. Even though you received it from the bank, I don't understand that. Here's the. I'm gonna. I'm, this is how honest I am because the girl was trying to explain it to me, and I, I, I stopped her. I said, I, I know what you're gonna say. If I had a fake bill, if I didn't know how to make them or right, something, right. I could walk up to the ATM, take out whatever, two hundred, five hundred yeah, bucks, yeah. slide it in, walk in, and go, look what you just gave me. I have a receipt that says I just took the money out. I mean, right, I could put right. the real fifty in my pocket. Sure. So they yeah. wouldn't know. I understand that. Yeah. Right. So the problem so, is uh, everybody who gets one becomes the victim, which makes you say. Uh, I'm not sure that I want to let anybody know that I know that I have one. Well, it was the all moment, marked the, up. Right. The moment you write, yeah, now it's it was, all marked now, up. It was, I yeah. couldn't use it anywhere. I couldn't have used it anywhere. And then, yeah. however, I'll add to that, having knowingly used it, I could have gotten myself in some trouble if I knew that right. it was possibly a fake bill. Yeah, you're, you're screwed after they, they found it. So... Uh, Wow. I just can't believe it. Now, I found some other things. That, I know though. we got to go, but uh, there's more information I have on this, too, by the way. about uh, the, I think people should know about your ATM, who stocks them, if they screen them. I always assumed you got new bills out of an ATM. Every time I go to ATM, it's all crispy-looking new bills. Yeah. That, that's well, not necessarily the case. they have to the put case. stuff in there that is able to get through the machine easily. But, um, you know, they're, I've seen them load the machine. They bring out two people and load it up. And So the, the woman I was uh, dealing with said to me, Sadly, she said, you got it out of that machine in the hall. And I said, no, I got it through your drive-thru. She looks at me, she goes, oh, I handled the machine in the hall. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, I'm, it's good for you. Thanks. But, but the outside ones, the drive-thru, she said those are stocked by like an armored truck. I don't mm. want to mention the bank's name or any company yeah, names yeah. because it is possible this was real. But really, at this point, all signs say I got a fake 50 out of my and bank's ETM. And you're ETM. out the 50 bucks. How about that?